segment totally devoted to new fun things in beauty. Kicking off today with a mask. Australian pink clay mask from The Healthy Mummy. The Healthy Mummy has just launched skincare and this mask I absolutely love. It's a detoxifier, it's full of shea butter, so it's gonna really help with plump and fine lines. It's got Kwandong in it, which helps with rosacea, pigmentation, and like all good clay masks, it's thermally active. So it uh, works with your skin to really draw out impurities. Hello, see what I mean? That is scrubbed clean look at the glow that that's put into my skin and also how even it is and just you can see the circulation. And that's why I love pink clay masks because they just do so much in 20 minutes. Oh, that it's a good one. Yes. The other product I wanted to highlight from the Healthy Mummy Skin Range, isn't the packaging lovely, that pale pink? is their Revive Facial Oil. You know I love a facial oil. And this one is liquid gold and looks like liquid gold. It's got rosemary antioxidant in it, vitamin C, vitamin E. It's got the first natural alternative to retinol, which is called Boku, hang on, Baku Chiol. Bacuccio, uh, which really has got, um, it has had a fantastic success in treating, in particular, hyperpigmentation. This is also just blended with rose and geranium and cold pressed lime, and it just smells. This is, this is just heaven, and you just want to put it everywhere, all the time. I've been waiting ages to get my hands on this which is Trini London Miracle Blur. Now this stuff, I mean, this is this one you couldn't get for ages. Because what it does is it takes, what it does is it gets rid of those fine lines, scarring, pock marks, and blurs them. Let's see. Holy shit. This is zero color and it's basically spat filler. So what it's going to do is even out your complexion. If you have little pock marks from acne or scars, if you have larger pores and you want to minimize them, and also those lines. I wonder if I could put it all over my neck. Trini, this is good. Clarence, this is their everlasting, long wearing and hydrating matte foundation. And it's a new favorite because Clarence is so well priced, like really well priced for the quality. Their foundations are about 50 bucks. You just don't need much of this at all. How nice is that? I just smashed that on with my fingers. But can I also say that I did the clay mask, then I did the face oil, then I put on the blow cream, and then I put on that little bit of foundation and all those steps have taken me here, which is natural, but even, even, even coverage. Charlotte Tilbury, flawless bronze and glow. It's basically J-Lo in a palette. Yeah, so it is a darker bronze and a lighter bronze, and you're gonna use them as one would use a contour. So, a little bit of highlight here and here. And here. And then you're gonna just put the bronze in a three, down and around where the sun would hit you. So fucking nice. This is a gold eyeliner. So I've just put some on the waterline here and none here. So this is taking the nude or the white eyeliner just a step further and making it golden. So it, when you put a neutral, like a nude or a white on your waterline, it just makes your eyes look whiter and it eradicates that sort of yucky pink eye vibe. This is from NYX. It's a metallic eyeliner and you can get them at Priceline and it's practically free. Bobbi Brown, I love me some Bobbi Brown. These are luxe defining lipsticks and they are so decadent. 
and the colour is just so heaven. This one's called New Mod, look at that pretty colour, and this one is called Orchid Noir. Which one will I do? Heaven lipstick, winter, lipstick, winter. Mm, I love that. I actually am loving all of this. It's a vibe. 